This is one of the most deadliest pigments known to man. And I'm going to make paint out of it. Today, I'm going to tell you about Paris Green, also known as PG21. As a color itself, as we know it now, it's not that special. You can easily mix this with a common green pigment and a white, although it might lack a final granulating effect that Paris Green has. It's the history of this pigment that makes it so interesting. Before the 1800s, there weren't that many bright green pigments to work with. You could mix a green with a yellow and a blue, but when it came to single pigments, you had verdigris, malachite, and sap green, which all weren't very bright or vivid. Shields green was invented as a solution for this, a copper arsenite pigment that was very toxic due to the combination of copper and arsenic in it but it gave a very bright green pigment. Unfortunately, it wasn't that stable. So Paris Green, but also known under a lot of other names, like Schweinfurter Grün, Veronese Green, Emerald Green, and obviously Paris Green. This pigment was developed in 1808 as an improved version of Shields Green. It was more durable since this is a copper Arsenite, but the arsenic in it, in combination with the copper, still made it very toxic. Due to the arsenic in it, there's also a downside. It reacts with sulfur, meaning a later developed ultramarine blue or cadmium yellow, which had sulfur in it, would make the green brown and lose its color. But that wasn't the only downside. It was used for paint, dyes, for wallpapers, toys. Everything that was a bright green was made with this pigment. But the fumes that it gave off were actually very toxic. And people didn't think about this until a lot of children died in their sleep because of the beautiful green wallpaper that they had. It was prohibited in 1815 because of this, because of the toxicity. People wouldn't wear it anymore in dresses, people wouldn't dress their rooms with wallpaper. But even that it was known to be very toxic and even used as a detergent for crops and rat poison, with the knowledge of all of this, the pigment was still in production and used as a paint until the 1960s. It gave off such a beautiful, rich, turquoise, bluish color that just had a certain appeal to it. To hide the nature of this deadly pigment, there were many names given to it. We know it as Paris Green, but Veronese Green and Schweinfurter Grün were also names that were very common for it. But as much as 80 names were used for this paint in many different places. Luckily, there are very, very good modern alternatives that aren't toxic or deadly at all. So this color still remains a beautiful and kind of macabre piece of history when it comes to pigments. It is also the reason why when we think about toxic, things are illustrated green. The movies, you know, the cartoons where a bottle or a witch is brewing uh, uh, something toxic, it is green, it has green vapors, almost radioactive, green in a bottle, over an apple, things like that, all comes from this pigment. One more thing about the pigment. It is very often called emerald green in books or on the internet. And it is not the same as the French name Vert Emeraude 
although it has the same translation that pigment stands for hydrated chromium oxide also known as iridium so emerald green or this paris green aren't the same thing A note, this is not a pigment that I sell. It is not a paint that I sell. I do sell a malachite, which is a copper-based pigment. It is also not one of the healthiest pigments, but just for the sake of a pigment collection and showing you what this looks like as a pigment being made into paint, I think this is very valuable to have. The washes of the pigment can almost be a light tur turquoise, more bluish green, while in its mass tone, it does the name emerald green justice. This swatch shows you a version of Paris green that I have but in the meantime I have collected more samples and even acquired Shields green to compare it with. That will be done in a later video. I hope you enjoyed this little brief piece of history and this beautiful breakthrough green that has been banned for over 200 years. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hopefully see you next time.